In this episode, I find out about the VBox lap timer and sim pack for comparing your sim laps to your real life laps, and one of you is going to win this professional grade equipment worth over 1500 euro. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and I'll announce a winner when I reach 5000 subscribers. Check it out. One of the biggest challenges to sim racing's credibility has always been translating what you learn on a simulator to the track in a measurable way. Imagine being able to take your telemetry from your real race car and race against it on your home simulator. Compare braking points, speeds, racing lines, even compare in-car footage to on-screen sim race footage. Well, that's a barrier that VBox have broken through. VBox have introduced a product that makes the technology used by the high budget racing teams available to the average track car owner. With the VBox lap timer and the VBox sim pack, a low budget race team can use this incredible technology for less than the cost of a race weekend. I caught up with John from VBox at the Autosport 2020 show and got him to explain how it works. I'm here with John who's the Motorsport Product Manager. They sell uh, what at a glance looks like uh, hardware for your real race car. I'm a sim racing driver, why is this interesting? Tell me about it, tell people about it. So we've got this product here, the VBOX lap timer. Um, now it was originally developed for your real racing car. Okay. Um, bits of GPS data logger, put the SD card inside and it shows you a live delta time on right. the screen. Um, what we've seen in recent years, the uh, sort of explosion of esports and sim racing. So we thought we'd want to try and get into that market as well. Right. So what we've done is we've given the uh, esports racers the opportunity to use our equipment and benefit from the advantages gained from the Delta Time from okay. the simulator. Okay. So that's a unit that plugs into you, uh, your Race Logic ECU in your car. Yeah. Um, so that gathers your your real life data. What do you do with it then? What happens? Once you've finished your session on the track, you'll come into the pits, you'll pop the SD card out and download your data to a, a laptop. Okay. Um, we have an analysis package called Circuit Tools. All right, that's what's going on on the laptop yes, over we'll, here. We'll have a look at that. Oh, in a second. cool, cool. Um, and what that does is it, it automatically arranges your lap times from fastest to slowest and right. then, uh, synchronizes your data. So um, you're able to identify multiple laps where you're losing time and where you're gaining time. Okay. And to do that, you, you will interpret the delta time graph. Right, okay. So you do that on your simulation software? Yes. And, because that, that kind of blows my mind a little bit. I'm a little bit kind of, so what happens on the real, because we're always comparing real life to track, track to real life. So does that mean that I'm losing time in turn one? I don't exactly know why. I know that other people are faster than me there. Yeah. But on one of my crap laps, I nailed turn one and I don't know what I did. Yeah. Does that mean that in the simulator, I can do everything that I do normally on a lap that I'm quick and then practice turn one specifically and fit it into my lap and basically put yeah. those pieces of the puzzle together? So what we're doing, we're capturing all the evidence that, uh, in this case on the sim, a screen capture. Right. We have other products in real life that uh, we capture the video. So it's okay. very similar, just a virtual version, if you think of it that way. Right. Um, once you've captured that evidence, we then have the tools to analyze that evidence and get into the details and find out why you made that mistake and then compare it to the, the corner you nailed. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, put that into practice so you can identify where the car's positioned on track, um, your braking point, okay. um, the application of throttle, the application of brake, how much uh, brake did the driver apply, yeah, yeah. So that sort of stuff. Okay, that's deadly. That absolutely kind of blows my mind because it's, it's something that you, you see it in F1, you see it in the big uh, GT chat, but so this is accessible. I mean, this is for, for me with my, as, a, as a sim racer yeah. and for my track car, the two, like let's say I have an MX-5, track car mx5 in a sim yeah. um how do i um i guess i'm still kind of trying to get my head around because it, it it makes perfect sense to me and i'm guessing people are using this yes um and it's really showing uh, benefit uh, i always think of a simulator as you know it has its own physics and stuff like how do you make up for the fact that well there's a there's a nasty pothole in turn one in real life and it's just not there in the sim that's why you're faster how does that how does that work or is that something that you can just because you have the data you can allow for that or that, that sort of stuff's down to whichever software you use so okay. how accurately the track's being mapped into right. the game so i mean 
we have G-force parameters, yeah. and if in, in, in uh, using a professional kit, right. if you were to go over a bump, you'd pick that up. Okay. And you get the same thing in the game if you're going over an undulation. But sometimes those bumps and undulations haven't been mapped in the game. Okay. So even though you're you're very familiar where the direction of the track's going, you may not feel the same. Yeah. Sort of bumps yeah. And so so then, but by by comparing by overlaying those G-forces, you might be able to say, well, we need slightly more grip or less grip in the simulator, adjust your settings, make it more like the real thing, because you're going whatever, 60 miles an hour through that corner, you're getting a certain amount of Gs, yeah. and it maps one to one, and you can kind of get your, that absolutely blows yeah. my mind. It's really, really cool. Listen, John, thanks a million for your, no your time on that. Uh, one last thing before we go, I'd like to get a quick sneak peek at absolutely. the software, if that's all right. All right, yeah. cool, let's do that. So this is an example that we're, uh, we're running at the moment. Uh, we've got the simulator running over here on our stand. And this is a data file that we've captured from that simulator. So here we've got the screen capture video synchronized completely to the uh, telemetry out of the sim. Okay. And this is exactly how it would look uh, in, in real life if you use the kit in, in, your, in your real race car. Okay. Um, the software circuit tools will automatically arrange your laps from fastest to slowest. And then uh, it's then up to the person analyzing the, the data to identify where where time's being lost and where time can be gained. And this software's really, really good. It, it really accelerates the learning process if someone's tr looking to go faster on track. So I'll show you a couple of examples here. So this red line is our fastest lap, and we're using that as a comparison. This, right. this graph here is what we call delta time, so cool. time loss, time okay. loss or time gain. All right, right. This blue line is the slower lap plotted on top of the um, faster lap. All right. So if you see the graph increasing, right. that, is, that is where time's being lost. If the graph is decreasing, that's where time's being gained. Okay. So if we can, we'll have a look at this section here. So if I zoom in here, we can see that this driver has gained a bit of time into Paddock Hill. And we can see if we look at the speed trace, he's carrying okay. a bit more speed. And if I just have a look at that here. Okay, so it's got a full record of it recorded the whole lap, so you can pretty much overlay them and see exactly what the difference is. Yeah, so we're going 107 here and 102 there. So he's carrying more speed, right. going faster than the other driver, and then we've got this time gain. So at the moment okay. we've just gained a tenth, coming up to a tenth. There we go. But nice. but uh, he's braked a lot earlier. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that time he just gained, he's okay. lost it again. So. Right. It's braked earlier, and now the speed's changed, so... And then it's up to you to analyse, well, he was going faster because it was a poor line or whatever, he got, yeah, a, he so got a poor exit. We carried less speed there, however, we brake later, so we carried more yeah. speed for a lot, a lot more time. Okay, nice, more nice. Um, let's have a look at the videos. So we can step through the videos, really get into it. Nice. The advantage of this is it's fully synchronised, and you can see exactly where the car's positioned on track, so... It's very nice. If one driving line's faster than the other, you can see if you reference a landmark on the car, so yeah. maybe the, uh, the the lap timer here. Yeah, exactly, so like the, the edge of the lap, lap time. time yeah. On the grass, but on here it's on. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can step through. You nice. can see here we're taking a lot more apex than this one. Nice. It's on the curb here, and he's slightly off the curb in this one. Yeah. It's a bit of, he's releasing the steering here. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's pointed earlier. So, so this is, I guess, the, the better exit on the left. That's right, yeah. yeah. So that time he gained in there, he lost on the exit. Yeah. Um, there's another example which we use. OK, there's a big speed difference here, so yeah. something's happened here. It looks like he's had to back off or something. So okay, we'll yeah, hesitation, a bit, yeah. A bit of a, a time gain. Well, this is the faster drivers actually uh, had to back off a little bit. And then the slower driver overall, he's actually gained a bit of time. So we can Excellent. have a look at that. It's good for identifying what happened so, during a mistake. So one thing you said that really kind of kind of interests me because at this stage I kind of I really understand the fact that your sim racing can make you a better real life racer. Yes. But in theory, your real life racing can make you a better sim racer. Because I get a lot of people who race in real life, they're slow on a the sim, they need to practice yeah. on a sim, and uh, they don't know exactly what. To, maybe because they're you know not feeling certain sensations mm -hmm. through their seat or whatever. Yeah. But in theory, you can go from 
uh, sim to track or track to sim. Yeah. So it, it translates both ways. That completely blows my mind. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, it, it, it does translate. Um, but if you start sim racing, all of your car control comes through the feeling and steering Exactly, wheel. yeah. When, but when you're a real racing driver, it's all in your in your seat. Yeah. So there's sli it's slightly different, but it is translatable. And we find that people have started off uh, real racing uh, tend to be um, slower than people who have started off sim racing. So yeah. slower in the sim than sim, sim racers yeah. in, a, in a real car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's completely alien to them. They've been driving real cars and it's just difficult to get used to it. But yeah. it's like anything, the more practice uh, you, you, you have, the, uh, the better you are. Deadly. Yeah. Very good. All right, thanks a million, man. Cheers for your time. And it uh, looks like a really exciting product. I hear that the, the guys at digitalmotorsports.com uh, are going to be uh, using these devices, reselling them, is it? Yes, uh, I think so. Excellent. Deadly, because they are, you know where they're located. Have you seen their location and that? They're on the track, as in, you yeah. look out the window over the simulator, you see cars going past. Yeah. So it's the it's ideal idea. place uh, to go downstairs to the paddocks up into the sim studio so uh that's pretty exciting that's pretty cool listen john thanks a million for your time no worries and see you again soon nice. cheers so there you have it that was john from vbox speaking about this revolutionary new product it's worth mentioning as well that you don't necessarily have to translate what happens in sim to real life you can also compare your real life laps to each other or your sim laps to each other although within most sims you have the luxury of doing that within the simulator itself Speaking of which, the product is compatible with a whole host of popular sim titles, including R Factor 1 and 2, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, F1 2017, 2018, 2019, iRacing, Project Cars, and Project Cars 2. This is a great weapon in the utility belt of a sim racer. So when people are quick to dismiss sim racing as being just a game, just show them this video. I'm Lawrence, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Have a read in the description below and if you want to learn more about this product I've included some links there. Please subscribe if you like seeing content like this and I will chat to you all later.